Let's take a look at the integral of secant x, and this is the standard way to do it. I will tell you that we will multiply the secant x right here by secant x plus tangent x. And of course, we also have to divide this right away. And now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering, how in the world do we know to do this? Well, this right here is just a standard way. This right here is the famous first step. If you don't really like this way right here, you guys can check out my other video where I show you guys how to integrate secant x without doing this. But we'll just do this right here. All right, this right here actually works out really well because now we can just let u equal the bottom, namely secant x plus tangent x. And then when we differentiate this, we get du, and we will get the derivative of secant x, which is secant x times tangent x. And then plus the derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. And all this right here is with the dx. And as you can see, if we multiply out the top, this times that is precisely secant squared x, and this times that is secant x times tangent x. So you see that this right here is the du, which happens to be all this right here. So this integral is just nicely equal to 1 over u, and then we can put the du on the side right here. And when we integrate this, we just get natural log absolute value of u, which is that, and we can just put down secant x plus tangent x. And we are all done after we put on the plus c. This right here is it. So now, after we, mod after we so now, after we have done the integral of secant x, of course, we can use the similar idea to do the integral of cosecant x. So let me just put that down right here for you guys. Well, integral of cosecant x. Hmm, earlier we multiplied it by secant x plus tangent x, and we divide it by that. So right here, wouldn't we just have to look at cosecant x right here, and then multiply by cosecant x, and then add the cotangent x and divide it by that right away. Yeah, will this work? It will, trust me. Let me just put this down right here first. And I'll tell you, in fact, some people might put a minus right here. That will also work, but we'll just do the plus version right here. Okay, do the same thing. Let u equal the bottom, which is cosecant x plus cotangent x, and then differentiate this, we get du, and the derivative of that is negative cosecant x times cotangent x, and the derivative of this is negative cosecant squared x. So all this inside of the parentheses, and then put on the dx right here. Now check this out though. On the top, when we multiply this out, we get positive cosecant squared, and then this times that is plus cosecant x and uh, cotangent x. So here is what we will have to do. You see, we have negative, negative. So in fact, I'm going to multiply this right here by negative, like this. I should put a parenthesis like that. But if I multiply the top by negative, I will also have to divide the negative, so I'll just put a negative in front. So you see now, all this right here on the top, when you distribute the negative, you will see this right here will give us du. And now we'll just continue. Here, we just have this negative right here, and then we will have to integrate 1 over u. And then this right here is our du, and the difference is that we have a negative right here, and then the integral of this is ln absolute value of u, which is that. So let's put on cosecant x plus cotangent x. And you know what? We are done. I have to put on the plus c. So this is it. And I will tell you guys that these two right here are the standard results of secant x and also cosecant x. And you can just use this later on when you see the integral of secant x. So remember this and also remember that. Right? So that's it.